how to add social media share links to your WordPress site without using a plugin. In this video session, I'm going to show you step by step and share with you functions and CSS code that you can quickly grab and place it onto your WordPress site for you to be able to add social media share links. Since we're living in Google page experience and Core Web Vitals world, it's only smart for us to add social media links without a plugin. So I'm creating this blog post as well as sharing the links for the sample functions on rankia.com blog. Okay, so this is still not published yet, but the blog post will be titled as to how to add social media share links to WordPress. Now, I've created two different versions for you to add the share links. One is automated version whereby the share links will show up after your blog posts like this. Or you can use short code WordPress shortcode and that's this version to place the share links perhaps on your sidebar on the footer section of your WordPress site and so on okay so I'll just show you the automatic version first simply press this I've uploaded it to rank your server it's a zip format once you download it to your local computer right click and unzip it as in extract it then this is the file and as you can see these are the codes we're using WordPress filter called the content and all you need to do is highlight the function copy the code and then place this into your WordPress theme the theme that you're using can be located through appearance and you press on themes and the current active theme will be shown. This theme is located on your web server where you've installed WordPress. If you're using cPanel, simply locate file manager, press on that link and then browse into your theme folder usually it's within public underscore html wp hyphen content in there you have themes folder and the current theme that you're using within that you'll have a file called functions.php right click and download the file before you use the sample codes because if something goes wrong you can always upload your backup okay so once you've made the backup to your local computer right click press on edit we're editing functions.php file and whatever you see on that file simply go towards the end of it and make some room by entering the space key on your keyboard and then right click paste the function that you've downloaded and then save changes then obviously visit your website refresh to see you know what is everything working and it should be then what you need to do is download the CSS codes let's press on that now that's also downloaded to our local computer. Rank you're making your job easy. I've created the styles for you as well. Simply right click, extract the CSS file and open it up and then simply highlight everything and copy. Then using the same process, then go to file manager browse into the theme that you're using on your WordPress site and there is a file called style.css once again 
right click and download a backup then right click press on edit now, if you're using child theme for example you may actually not have css rules within this file but nonetheless the sample css codes that i've created for your social media share button links can be pasted into style.css now then simply press save changes once you simply use these two different files and edit your theme files what will happen is when you visit any of your blog posts let me show you a sample one let's go to how to use Yoast SEO plugin blog post and down the bottom of your post you'll have the social media share links that means if someone was to let's say want to share this blog post on Twitter all they need to do is press on it and the functions will automatically take them to a Twitter platform whereby they can share your blog post okay and same is true with Facebook and so on now as I've said there is two different versions of adding social media links you may not want to place the share links automatically below blog posts you may want to add them perhaps to the sidebar perhaps even footer section or elsewhere if that's the case all you need to do is download the short code version let's press on it that's downloaded locally same process then right click extract the sample codes then simply highlight the code in fact you can use both of them if you want actually let me double check that if you can do that that's that yes you can you can use both of them if you want okay so the short code version let's go that's automatic version that's the short code version all we do is highlight the function copy it and once again this goes within functions.php file simply make some room and paste as i've said you can use both of them as in generate the share links below the content automatically as well as using a short code version which we've just pasted right then we save changes how would you then use the short code version simply log into your wordpress dashboard go to appearance let's press on widgets let's place it within the sidebar using text widget we simply find the text widget and grab on it using our mouse and then place it anywhere we want the short code to appear as in the buttons to appear then we just use insert rank your share button short code let's do that let's press on text editor what's very important is that we wrap the short code within brackets the bracket is located above enter key so there's opening bracket and closing bracket then we save changes let me actually save changes and let's say we've added a text widget in the footer section somewhere let me refresh this page to see if the share buttons show up here now with the css as you can see this is a little bit out of place if that's the case we can actually edit that okay so i'm not going to show you how to do that because it is still responsive that means the css 
will be responsive according to the viewport. Makes sense? Look, it'll go as in resize properly. I think this is a better way to add the social media share links and the footer section in this theme, as you can see, it moves things down a bit. But for the content area, for most WordPress sites, it will be wide enough for these links to show appropriately on a desktop, laptop view, and it will responds as in it will respond to the viewport on mobile devices. This is a better CSS coding for adding social media share links to your WordPress site without a plug plugin. Let me wrap it up. All you need to do is download the sample codes and then locate the functions.php, place the function, whichever one you want to use, or even both of them, and then simply edit functions.php and save changes. Remember, you must make a backup whenever you edit any WordPress core files. This is a theme file, okay? Then with the CSS, it's only wise to place it in style.css, which every WordPress theme has. And that is how easy it is to add social share links to WordPress. And this is a much better, as in leaner, cleaner, and faster method compared to using plugins, which burden page load times. I thank you very much for learning with Renkia. If you benefited from this video session, why not use the share buttons to share it? Furthermore, I'll be making new videos on Renkia YouTube channel, and I'll talk with you in the next video session.